We're looking at the seed varieties that are being demonstrated for this year's National Organic Cereals event, Mark, and we've discussed the idea that some of them are varieties to show different characteristics. Some of them have been uh, treated under the organic regulation with heat. Yeah, I think in many ways that could be the unique thing about this trial. That's what's different about it. We're in a very, very dirty fusarium year, as all organic arable producers now so it's the best year in a sense to try this all the seed was filthy with fusarium um, and uh, it's it's the right year to highlight the benefits of, of a treatment if it works uh, and and has it shown any effects so far where where are we mid-may at the moment yeah mid-may the, on the winter uh, on the winter wheat we had a very or rather it was winter oat uh, variety that was picked and treated and untreated um, the early indications were very very good I was right. scoring the trials through the winter very very hard winter and it looked consistently better uh, and Lois, you see this as a benefit uh, for the organic sector in a variety of ways yeah I think one of the things that we have often come across in the organic sector is, is that concerns over the lack of ability to treat seeds in an acceptable organic principled way and if this treatment of a heat treatment can be demonstrated to be successful we should be looking at taking that further forward and scaling it up and I understand that it's going over to Sweden to be treated at the moment yeah they, I, they don't believe there's any uk facility for this at the moment um so there's a, obviously a huge cost in this and at the moment but uh, if the trials can show that there is potential then i guess more trials will show that how big that potential is and then from that somebody could be encouraged to invest so at the moment it's organic seed producers who are running this demonstration who are fronting the cost Yes, I think so. On this trial basis, it is. Um, but if the results are as good as they appeared to be uh, through the winter period, once we get to harvest, which is what it's all about, of course, then I guess they are onto something which could, uh, which could grow very quickly. Yeah. And, and did you see a difference from the beginning or was it late to make it a showing? Or? There's been a difference at every stage. Uh, it was, again, remember, awful germination and, and uh, conditions. The weather was, was dreadful for the winter cereals. Um, so, again, it's highlighted any benefit that there may be, I think, has been possibly shown even more strongly. But germination, emergence and seedling survival were all better. Seedling vigour actually was the most impressive. We had, at one point, you know, we were a full leaf ahead, um, you know, three leaves versus two leaves, and it was, it was clearly a, a better prospect at that point. And uh, this is even uh, considering some awful weather. It was very wet, obviously, but also there was snow, wasn't there, in the, in the early spring? Yes, yes, it was. I mean, this is the worst imaginable winter for, for later drilled crops. These crops were drilled uh, end of October in relatively good conditions, but the weather was awful from that moment onwards. Um, we have all but lost some of the wheat trials adjacent. Um, so, so these are in, in extreme conditions and the best conditions, in a sense, to test these, uh, this approach.